Look now at the transition radiation tracker outside the silicon detectors. This device can distinguish between different types of particles. It's made of a large number of tubes filled with gas. Whenever a charged particle passes through the material between the tubes, photons are produced. Let's see the difference between pions and electrons. A pion entering the tube ionizes the gas and is accompanied by the radiated photons. The photons interact with the molecules in the gas, freeing more electrons which move towards a gold wire at the center of the tube where they are measured. If the initial particle is an electron, far more photons are radiated than with the pion. This means that more negative charge is measured on the wire. This measurement allows the ATLAS detector to distinguish between different types of particles. Using the inner detector, ATLAS can measure the paths of charged particles which are bent by the magnetic field. From these paths, it is possible to calculate the momentum of charged particles. ATLAS also has detectors which measure...